hello guys and girls welcome back to my channel so on this video today i'm going to explain to you why you should trade on the lower time frames and how it can make you a millionaire if you follow what i'm about to show you today in this video step by step so first of all if you are a day trader i always encourage my students to start doing analysis on the four hour time frame because on the four hour time frame you will get a general bias of the market so for example on volatility 10 index we can see that the market previously was on an uptrend direction and currently right now we can see that the market already broke this previous higher low of this uptrend market direction which shows us that this market is about to change its bias from being an uptrend direction to a downtrend direction if this four hour candlestick breaks or closes below this level right here so on the four hour time frame currently we can see that the market is making a very straightforward impassive leg just like this so are we as day traders we know that this market on the lower time frame will not be visible like this until the market reaches this level there are a lot of lower lows and lower highs on the higher time frame so if you have already notified or you have already know that on the four hour time frame the market is on an impulsive phase to the downtrend direction and the general structure shows that the market right now possibly if it closes below this level it changes it bears to a downtrend direction then this market we are all to sell so after you have already make uh, all these logical reasons that is when you will go to the lower time frame i always encourage taking entries on the 50 minute chart especially if you have a low equity account of less than uh, 500 dollars make sure your entries you take them on the 50 minute chart because right there is where you will have very tight stop loss orders which will make your account to hold as many positions as possible so that you can grow your account so i will go first to the 30 minute time frame and after the 30 minute time frame possibly the next time frame will be the 50 minute time frame because on that time frame it is where we will get our entries so we can see that movement on the four hour time frame which was as clear as a straight line on the 30 minute time frame actually it is visible by making series of lower lows and lower highs which is what a downtrend direction should move now after knowing this you can say okay the market this is on downtrend direction and we can see on the 30 minute chart the market already broke this level so that means that this uptrend direction market has been broken so you go to the lower time frame with a confluence of already knowing what you are going to do and that is looking for sell trades only so we can see how the market has been moving on the timing chart we can see we have the higher low right here then the higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low so on this kind of trades on this kind of trades what i would have done is you should wait for the market to either come to this level right here to this level right here and form some kind of multiple week rejections or a doji candlestick for you to enter into this trade or you should wait if this level first to hold then you should wait for the market to at least come to this level because if the market comes to this level and the candlesticks fails to, uh, to hold onto this resistance level and break it above then that would mean that we as day traders this bias of a downtrend direction has shifted and you should just continue to look for uptrend movements but that's not the case okay we will go to the 50 minute chart to see if we will get some conferences today on the 50 minute chart we can see that there was a level hidden which was not clearly visible on the 30 minute chart so we should consider all the levels that the market previously uh, respected because there may be some times the market will not come all the way to this previous uh, lower low or lower high before proceeding to the downtrend direction and we can see and we can see for example this case right here when the market came to retest uh, to this previous uh, lower low it went slightly above respecting this previous respecting this previous resistance level right here 
So you should consider all of these factors when you're doing your analysis that the market, although uh, the general principle says that we should wait for the market to come all the way to the previous uh, support or the previous higher low or higher high, but you should always consider the market uh, general zones that it formed previously in the past. You can see right here that the market, after coming to this level, it formed this kind of weak rejections right here. So if you are a scrapper, this would have been a proper position for you to enter some of your sell trades while holding uh, while sitting in your hands because the market can do anything but according right here the market is on this level resistance level and it formed a candlestick with multiple weak rejections right here so another thing that i want to uh, tell you about is how the market rotates sometimes i know this is a general almost a picture perfect way of trading this kind of market but sometimes the market will not um sometimes the market will uh, retest to this kind of levels forming some kind of a ranging market let me show you some clear example right here because if you for example the market may form some beautiful uh downtrend movement like this uh, and sometimes when the market wants to retest to this level right here it may form some kind of an ascending channel just like this all of these are, are just a selling pattern because as long as the market uh, formed a selling another selling pattern while retesting to this level right here we for example if this case is an ascending channel then you are good to go do not say okay the market right now is on a ranging market and i should not take this kind of trade no you should see how the market is retesting or how the market is ranging to the previous lower low for example in this case right here you can see the market it did retest this kind of level but the way it was retesting it formed another kind of an ascending channel which is also a seller pattern some of the way that the market may retest is by um you can see the market is going to the downtrend direction like this and sometimes the market will come all the way right here go back down and come to form some kind of a double top pattern before going to the downtrend direction so we know that double top pattern is a seller pattern so we this kind of trades you have lots of conferences first the market is on a downtrend direction second the market is stretching to the previous uh, lower low and thirdly the market is forming some kind of a seller pattern which is a double top pattern for you to enter to sell trades such as this so you may find also sometimes the market may even form a triple top before go, before actually selling so all of those conferences you should take them into consideration guys and girls make sure you practice a lot whenever you trade there's no holy gray in forex trading i'll be honest with you and i'll be point blank clear with you without practice you're just wasting your time